solving quadratic inequalities, but this time make it quadratic formula. There's two other videos that go with this one. There's solving quadratic inequalities by square roots and solving quadratic inequalities by factoring. Just so you know, lots of different methods. So much fun. Take some notes out. <laughs> Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. We have three examples, and example number one is negative 2x squared minus x plus 8 is greater than 6. We're using the quadratic formula. And so to use the quadratic formula, you always want to make sure that your problem is set equal to zero at the beginning. So once it is set equal to zero, then you will plug it into the formula. You don't remember the formula you said? Well, look at that. I did it for you. So negative b, so negative negative one plus or minus the square root of b squared. So that means negative one squared minus four times a, which is negative two times c, which is two all over 2a. a is negative 2. Okay, I color-coded it. You see, I, I got y'all, okay? I got y'all. I really did you a solid. I color-coded all the things so that it looks good. You get it. No, no confusion. This is just a PEMDAS situation, okay? This is me just figuring out the order of operations under that radical. Exponents first, then multiplication, then subtraction, okay? So make sure you get it right. I'm not here to teach you PEMDAS though. I'm here to teach you how to solve an inequality, um, a quadratic inequality. So when I simplify under the radical, I get a 17 on the outside. Negative negative one turns to plus, turns into a positive one. On the bottom, two times negative two is negative four. Radical 17 equals approximately 4.12. Approximately, okay? I know it says equal to. It should have the little wavy sign, but I ain't feel like finding it. Anyway. So approximately uh, 4.12. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna do one plus 4.12 over negative four. And that's gonna give us approximately 1.28. So X is greater than one point, negative 1.28. On the other side, so that's us splitting up the answers because the quadratic formula is you have to do a plus and then a minus, right? So now I'm gonna do one minus 4.12 over negative four. And when I do that, I'm gonna get X is greater than 0.78. So we're gonna take that orange answer and we're gonna take that blue answer and those are the two values that are gonna come with us to our number line. So here we go. Remember you want your values from least to greatest. So this is my number line. So first I need to decide, am I using open circles or closed circles or parentheses versus uh, parentheses versus brackets on the number line. Depends on how your teacher's teaching it to you, okay? We're using open circles uh, and closed circles, but they the same thing as parentheses and brackets, okay? Um, so we're using closed circles approximately at negative 1.28 and then approximately at, at positive 0 0.78. And so now I'm gonna show you the different areas of the graph. There's a blue area, there's the purple area in between both of the solutions, and then there's the orange area, okay? We have to choose, you have to choose a test point in each area. So for the blue area, we're gonna go ahead and choose negative two, and I'm gonna plug it into our original problem. When you plug it in, you simplify and do PEMDAS. I'm not here to teach you PEMDAS, though. I've said that in every video. <laughs> so I go through quickly. If you wanna look at the steps to PEMDAS by yourself, pause the video, but that's not what I'm here to do. Okay, so then I get two is less than six. Is that a true statement or is that a false statement? It is true. Good job. So then I have uh, the next value in the purple area, I'm gonna pick a zero. So I'm gonna take the original equation, plug in zero, and I get eight is less than six. That is very false. Um, and so I know the purple area is not gonna work for me. So now we're gonna pick the two in the orange area. I could have picked the three also, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna simplify and I get two is less than six. Did I do that right? Negative eight minus two. Oh yeah, look, look at 
that. That's weird. Uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that seems to be true. And so that means my blue area and my orange area are where my solutions are. And there we go. There's my set notation. I gotta write a note to myself. Hold on a second to put, and then, excuse me. Anyway, so yeah, that's the first example. Okay, good. Okay, so now this next example. So again, I'd be telling y'all to pause the video, see if you can do it on your own, okay? Um, and so the first thing that you want to do for quadratic formula is set it equal to zero. So just like factoring, we want to set it equal to zero. Square roots though, you just isolate x. But anyway, minus 10, minus 10. Uh, so I'm gonna get 3x squared plus 6x plus one is less than zero. There's the quadratic formula all done nice and pretty for you because I know y'all don't be remembering stuff. Okay, so I color coded it. So negative V, so negative six plus or minus the square root of uh, six squared minus four times A, which is three, times C, which is one, all over two times A, which is two times three. Okay, I got negative six plus or minus the square root of 24. Again, I did all this stuff under the radical PEMDAS, PEMDAS, baby. The square root of 24 is approximately 4.9, approximately. Again, I was too lazy to find the little wavy equal sign. Okay, um, so we have to separate them now. We got to do those negative six plus 4.9 and then negative six minus 4.9. Okay, so when I simplify that, I get x is greater than or equal to negative 0 0.18. And then on the other side, I'm going to get negative six minus 4.9 over six. And this x is greater than negative 1.2, negative 1.82, excuse me. So the orange answer and the blue answer, I'm gonna take with me to my number line. Let's go to the number line. So remember you want the negative, I mean the smaller answer first and then the bigger answer second. So that's what we got. So looking at our symbol, we have greater than symbols. Open circles or closed circles? Open circles, good. So on my number line, look at how I did my number line this time. Negative 2, negative 1.5, negative 1, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.51. I went by 0.5s this time because my numbers were pretty close together, actually. So negative 1.2 is very close to 2, but not. And then uh, negative, one, negative 0 0.18 is in between 1 and 0 0.5. So that's where it goes. So now I'm going to draw the areas, the blue area the purple area and the orange area so you guys can see the different areas where I need to test a point. So we're gonna choose a test point. Uh, uh -huh. So negative two in the blue area when I plug it in, is that true? No, it's not, it's false. So blue area is not gonna work out for me. So I'm gonna choose an area, a point in the purple area. I'm gonna choose a negative one. I'm gonna plug it in. Is that true? Yeah. And then the next in the orange area, I'm gonna choose zero. And that's false. Dang it. So the only area that's gonna work is my beautiful purple area. Okay? So what does that look like in set notation? Well, it looks like negative 1.82 comma, negative 0 0.18, parentheses, parentheses, because open circles, parentheses, hello, all of those things are the same. Okay? Okay. One more example. Yay! You should do that next example on your own. So you should pause the video, do this last example on your own, see if you can do it, and then come back to me when you're done. This example is already set equal to zero. We love to see it. So all I have to do is plug it into the quadratic formula. So negative B, so negative negative two plus or minus the square root of negative two squared minus four times A times C all over two times A and A is five. C was what, negative one? Good. I'm a PEMDAS the crap out of that junk. And I get the square root of 24 under the radical. So what do you want to do? You want to make sure 
that you figure out what square root of 24 is and it's approximately 4.9 honey okay uh, so we're gonna do 2 plus 4.9 over 10 and that's gonna give me X is greater than or equal to pay attention to that symbol 0 0.69 and then 2 minus 4.9 over 10 that's gonna give me X is greater than or equal to negative 0 0.29 so we're gonna take our orange answer we're gonna take our blue answer over to the number line So here we go, we're gonna plot our numbers on the number line, but you gotta ask yourself a question. Open circle or closed circle? Definitely gonna be closed circles, okay? So with my little closed circles, or you could use brackets, doesn't matter. Um, now we're gonna denote blue area, purple area, orange area, and we're gonna pick a point from each area. In this blue area, we're gonna choose negative one. I'm gonna plug it into my function or my inequality. <laughs> that one's gonna be true. Then for the purple one, I chose zero. Um, I'm gonna get false. And then I'm gonna choose one for the orange area and I'm gonna get true. So that means orange and blue. My solution, okay, is negative infinity to 0 0.29 bracket. Why did I use a bracket? Because I had to equal to in union with 0 0.69 comma infinity close parentheses. Okay, if you did that well, give yourself a pat on the back. Yay! That is the end of solving quadratic inequalities by the quadratic formula. I say this at the end of every video. If you watched me do it, go back and see if you can do them on your own without my help. Because just because you watched me do it don't mean you know how to do it. And then if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.